Welcome to another vlog guys. It's been a while since I showed my face <laughs> on here um, with my scrubs on but I just got off work. I am in an area where they have one of my favorite malls so why not take you guys with me. I'm looking a little bit crusty but hey we are gonna do it today saturday is a beautiful day outside hopefully you can see it's 2 30 in the afternoon so there's no rush going home so let's go to the mall <laughs> get you guys on my cell phone today I don't have my camera on me and I'm filming on 0.5 I've been seeing a lot of people doing 0.5 so um, I'm curious to see how this is gonna be but um, it gives a wider angle I feel like yo I lost my Stanley cup the other day I worked at a facility and I forgot it there so I ended up buying this one from Aldi this was like maybe six dollars temporarily but I just ordered another Stanley I'll tell you guys about it later on I might go to Dick's Sporting Good to get another cup because I miss my Stanley this does the work though I'm not even gonna lie I had ice water on it yesterday and it stayed icy all day so However, my hands are so dry. It's literally embarrassing. I forgot my hand lotion. I'm gonna go into Neiman Marcus first and hopefully I can find a lotion to moisturize my hands. Look at them. They are so embarrassing and also super starving. All I had today was two granola bars, no coffee, no matcha, granola bars and water because this shift was quick. It was so fast paced. It went by so quick. I worked six to two and i was trying to get out of there on time because i wanted to go to the mall to come to the mall and i don't want to get home too late so yeah i didn't have time to take my lunch or eat so at some point i'm gonna have to grab lunch i just drove past chick-fil-a but i had chick-fil-a yesterday for lunch so i didn't feel like stopping there and having another chick-fil-a so i'm not sure tonight i'm making fish like a whole fish broiling it in the ovens i can't and with some plantains uh african style i can't wait for that <laughs> I got carried away they had so many nice things you know, um quite a few things that I really like but then I got a phone call and I ended up running my mouth on the phone the whole time this is the phone I was supposed to use to record so my bad and then after that I went to Saks of course I was still on the phone um but I did get a couple things from Saks and uh, I'm trying to think no from Nemans I didn't get anything from Saks I got a few things that I'll show you guys when I get home but right now though I am I don't know if you guys can see I am over um I'm gonna go into Dick's Sporting Good because like I was telling you guys earlier I lost my Stanley Cup and I know Dick's Sporting Good have that I know I saw the Stanley Cups here before a bunch of them hopefully they have them wait what are all oh, these are the what kind are this? I don't want this. Oh, here they are. more 
of like a neutral color it was kind of like this color right here but now they have a white one and this is this a gray it's like a grayish this is kind of nice too but i don't know if i should get they have that purple is cute and then they have a pink these are different though I have those too. I might go ahead and get a hot pink, y'all. I kind of like that. Then they have the orange and the green. Too loud. Too, too loud. But <laughs> I kind of want the pink with the hot pink one, though. So I might go ahead and get it. Oh, should I get the limited edition one? Should I get the limited edition one? All right, so I settled on this one, but I'm not sure what size I should get. This is 30 ounces. This is 40 ounces. I used to have a 40 ounces one. That's the one I lost. It's pretty big, but I kind of like... I kind of like how small and not, like not too heavy this one is. But... I don't know. I feel like with a smaller one, you have to keep like filling it up. It's a ten dollar difference, so it's not bad. This is a collab with um, Kalia, so it's a little more. It's like I think five dollars more than the regular, like Stanley. So this one is forty dollars. That one is fifty dollars. gym clothes on but before I think I'm gonna go get a pedicure my toes are embarrassing I'm gonna go do that first and then go to the gym I have my tabletic set that's the newest set they sent me for August for no for July and this is the top I posted it on my Instagram like a picture of the set I really like these leggings they're like citrus right there and this little jacket is Lululemon. This is the next day. So yesterday I pretty much spent the day watching the Olympics and just like catching up on some other games that I missed. But yo, the female, the women basketball um, final with friends between US and France was intense, y'all. Um, we ended up winning by like one point. It was crazy. That's about it. Um, I forgot to wear my AirPods. Hopefully the sound on this clip is going to be okay. But let's go, y'all. I just feel, today's Monday, and I just feel really tired. School starts in two days. I have a lot of errands to do. I got to do my daughter's hair, too. So it's just like a busy day. But I don't know. Like, since July, like, July was just so draining. And I was just so unmotivated in July. And I feel like it's trying, like, it's ca I'm carrying it through in this August, but I'm forcing myself to get out of the the funk. So I really need to, I need to start like working out, just trying to be outside as much as possible. Like I can't allow myself to just fall out of all my routines, fall out of my consistency over here on YouTube. Like I haven't been consistent at all, but we're gonna get it back, we're gonna get it back. It happens, you know, it happens, but we can't stay down. We gotta, we gotta get up and keep moving. That's life. trying to get a Starbucks but why is the drive through so packed what's going on <laughs> I want a matcha I already I had coffee this morning 
uh, just like a regular coffee with oat milk and sugar um, that I made at home this morning but I kind of want an ice matcha I haven't eaten anything yet I'm right by Ross and I want to go get a some new sheets I want to look at Ross or Marshalls I think Ross Ross is probably cheaper than Marshalls when it comes to bedding sheets but I need, I need new bedding so I'm gonna go to Ross and then I'm gonna head home Look what I found. These are some coach slides. I have a serious sunglasses addiction. Like I'm always looking at sunglasses. These are very cool. Some visors. Pink visors. somebody grabbed the vans and left them over here like with the kitchen stuff bro oh i know this is like the the retailer on me because i work retail for so long but when i see things like this it just bothers me how much are they 35 dollars vans off the wall these are cool do i need another pair of any shoes? I don't. We got a collective haul. We're gonna start with. I think you guys saw me when I went to. No, I did not film that. Uh, I went to Sykes off Fifth Avenue. I went to Ross. I uh, went to the mall for back to school shopping with my daughter and I got a couple things from I think for everyone and then oh I have some new Stanley cups I don't know if I should start with Stanley cups or let you know what let me start with what I got from sex off Fifth Avenue I did a blind buy a perfume it's actually an eau de toilette uh, the difference eau de parfum and eau de toilette is that the eau de toilette is usually lighter and doesn't last as long and generally cheaper so this is the jimmy chew or the toilet is uh what 40 ml so it's kind of like a small bottle i think i paid like 39 dollars for it i believe so this is what it looks like right there oh the bottle is actually very pretty really nice is this very small bottle jimmy choo let's smell it yeah yeah it's very it smells fresh and clean so definitely very summery i wanted something that i can wear like every day especially when i go like to work and stuff something that's not overwhelming that's just fresh and clean and simple and i think this is perfect yeah it smells really good next up from sykes off fifth avenue i get a necklace this is what it looks like actually this is the front I like this big chain but i like how it has this little uh, thing right here it's different from the ones that i have so 
I got that. These are really nice to just elevate like a simple outfit. Like you can even be wearing like a t-shirt and then you put those big jeans. Yeah, it just changes the vibe. And then one last thing from Saks Off is this set of hand cream. As a matter of fact, I think when you guys saw me last time I filmed, I was trying to find a hand cream. So I ended up finding this set of uh, three hand lotions from um, Saks Fifth Avenue. And it's kind of like the brand, it's the brand Saks Off Fifth Avenue, but it's kind of like the Saks Fifth brand. I think it was like three, four. $20.19.99 as opposed to I almost bought the Dior one from Neme Marcus but that small Dior thing the egg uh, shape it kind of looked like the Chanel one that little thing was like $68 y'all that's a little too much I used to buy the Chanel ones but they don't they're really just good for the vibe they do not last at all how do you open this I'm struggling here all right, and by the way, since the last vlog, I got new press on nails. Got them from the beauty supplies. They are so quick. I've had them for like a week now, but you guys haven't seen them since the last vlog. So this is what these creams look like. This is, what is this? Lavender scent. The white one. I like the, the white one. I like the vibe. And then the black. The, light, the white one is lemon scent, and the black one is what? Eucalyptus. I lost my Stanley Cup, the um, uh, the tumbler actually. So I went to Dick Sporting Good because I know Dick Sporting Good has them for sure. Every time I go there, I always find them. So this is the one I got, the new one. This is the Stanley X Kalia collab that they did. Yo, I spent like 20 minutes there trying to decide what color to get. I wanted a cute bright summery color but when i got there like i was like this is a little too much i said i want something neutral the one that i used to have was neutral it was just like plain kind of this color this one has a little more like a bronzy gold details on it i think this is, was like a special edition so it was like i think this one was 50 dollars which usually the tumblers um the 40 ounces tumbler are usually 45 so five dollars extra but it's really 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 nice the Stanley Cups, one thing about them, they are very pricey, but y'all, they help me, definitely help me drink more water, so I'm not mad about the price. And then I'll order a, another one. This is a Stanley, I think this is, actually this is a bottle. This is like the latest collab that they did with, is it like Jim Shark Fancy, whatever it's called? Let me open it so I can tell you guys what it is. But I wanted a tumbler for this one originally, but they were all sold out. I saw Jackie Aina uh, do like an unboxing. I was like, ooh, that's cute. But when I went on the website, y'all, it was all gone. So, ooh, okay. Is the fact that they actually take the time to package it, make it cute. That's really nice. So this is Stanley X Love Shack Fancy collab. Ooh. Okay, this is cute. Like who in the world puts a bottle in a dust bag? This is luxury. This is pretty, very demure. <laughs> I swear to God, if I hear that word demure on TikTok one more time, like that's all I have in my head these days. Demure, demure, have you guys heard it? Let me know below if you are annoyed about that too. Demure, by the way, means like uh, elegant, you know, like when something is like classy, it's elegant and it's like effortless. That's what they use the word demure, but yo, everybody's just going crazy with that word. But back to the bottle. This is definitely demure. <laughs> this is cute though. It's cute. I wanted a tumbler, but I'm not mad at it. Because at this now I have a tumbler and then I have a bottle. When I travel, like on the plane, I like to take these bottles. I usually just empty them and then when I get on the plane, I can or after like TSA, I just fill them back up. This is just more um practical like to put in my bag and everything and then this one is mostly for like home or like work or if i'm gonna be out like all day i fill it up with water while i'm in the car i can drink make sure i stay hydrated and these i usually use for troubles like it it's really pretty i like it but like i said the tumbler for the stanley and love shack fancy sold out y'all the girls just went crazy and bought everything 
I'm glad I got the bottle though. And I think that bottle was like 35, 30 or 35 dollars, something like that. Next, and by the way, yo, get you some coffee, get some wine or something because I have quite a few things here to show you. This is a collective haul, so I'm just gonna show you everything that I've gotten uh, recently. I got, uh, I went to Ross. I was looking for bedding actually for like bed new sheets and stuff, but yo, I got some sunglasses. I already told you guys that I definitely have a problem <laughs> with sunglasses. Like, I can't help it. I am constantly buying sunglasses. I'm just a sunglass girl, okay? So, this is the first pair. I got, I got four pairs. This is the first pair I got. If you know, you know. Designer inspired, designer dupe, you know. Um, I do have a lot of designer sunglasses, but I also get a lot of dupes. Uh, like these are the dupe for I think the Bottega. Uh, I just like sunglasses, okay? I can't help. Got a problem. If you're a sunglass girl, then let me know in the comment. But yeah, got this in a white. Let's try them on for you guys. This is the first pair, y'all. Got them in the white. I actually ordered these from Amazon before in the past in white i think i was going to new york i ordered this but they sent me the silver so i returned them so i'm glad i got this these are a dupe for i'm not sure what dupe they are i popped them up on the screen for you because i know what dupe they are but i can just think about them now but i did get four pairs so the next pair is are these ones these are some oversized black glasses i don't know what was going on at rust this day but they had very like stylish and just nice designer sunglasses so look at this look at this i mean who's gonna tell me these are not designer they look so chic they look so sleek so classy like these are about to be like my everyday glasses for a while black big black bold oversized glasses designer dupe as well and and oh by the way all these glasses were 6.99 y'all <laughs> on the freaking little ball i like those ones so much the black ones i also get them in white yeah baby it's still summertime so we're still wearing these glasses i mean look at this even just for like content, if I'm traveling, if I go like New York, this is very like fashion, fashionable, very fashion forward. It's giving New York Fashion Week. I definitely love this. Oh, yeah, these are good. $6.99. And then one last pair. These are also a designer dupe. I think these are the dupe for the Louisville, if I'm not mistaken. Look at those in black. Cat eye, these are very stylish. These are also giving New York Fashion Week. Let me remove these tags. I cut off the tags, but I'm gonna remove these stickers later. But this is pretty much let's take this one off. This is pretty much it, so you have an idea. Very stylish. These are also giving New York, they're also giving Fashion Week really really nice even just with like my hair slick back like this this is a vibe definitely a vibe so yeah i got a pair of sheets um this is what is this vans collection just some regular like cotton sheets i usually just use white sheets but i wanted something a little different so this is more of a, like a gray a newish a nudish gray color um a set of four but what i'm most excited about and what i want to show you is actually this um color gaffel what is it quilt it's like a quilt um it's like a quilted uh like throw for the bed this is what it looks like like in the in the picture there this was forty dollars so it's just a huge quilt and two matching pillows this is really nice once in a while i like to just change my bedding i like to like freshen it up i like my bed to feel like i'm in a hotel 
pretty much. So I got the card. This, this is Carla like Gaffel. I got it. I'm gonna put it. I'm actually gonna change my bedding, and I think these sheets will go with it. It will definitely go, and then it will also go with the white sheets when I switch back to to my white sheets as well. You can believe that they sent me a, a bottle in a um, dust bag, y'all. That is so nice, and it's a really nice quality one. I can definitely use this to put some things in it when I'm like traveling and stuff. Lastly, um, I took my daughter to Forever 21, and of course, you know, I found a couple things. I found, no, this is from H&M actually. Hold on, yeah, I also went to H&M. I completely forgot. <laughs> Because the H&M bag was inside of the Forever 21 bag, so I totally forgot that I went to H&M as well. But from Forever 21, y'all, I got this. They were having sales, so I saw this hat on clearance, and I got it. This is, you know, one of those. With my high ponytail, it's hard to show you guys, but you see the point of course i would with like i would, of course i would wear it with like my hair down and it would just be this is very stylish and it's giving fall since you know we are about to transition into fall this is just very stylish love it neutral color um it's just gonna give very like fashionable very chic and i also saw this scarf I think this scarf was only like $5. It's giving Versace. I like scarves too, by the way. I feel like this is a nice one that like I can tie it on my head. When I have like hair down, I can tie it on my head or I can like put it in a, on a bag or something. This was really nice. The quality, this is not satin, this for yesterday, but the quality is actually really nice. So I was happy about it. And at H&M, I got a couple things. I got this dress from the sales section this is a um this is just like your regular like empire elastic band kind of like summer dress uh i know we're almost done with summer but still the price was really nice it was really affordable i'm gonna try it on and put it on the side for you guys but i like the blue color and i actually have a blazer that i can like throw on top the mornings now sometimes we have like 60 degrees so if I'm going to like work from like the coffee shop and I'm wearing this, I can throw a blazer, but by like noon, we're up to 80 degrees. So this is definitely something I can wear like to the beach or to the pool or just like to run around or just run around the house if I want. But then if I want to go out, I can throw a blazer over my shoulder or just like a cardigan. But I have a blue blazer that I think it will look nice with it. It's just a really nice blue. Uh, but normally these dresses during summertime i just wear them at home i'm trying to get more into dresses by the way so yeah and then i got a t-shirt no a tank top still from h&m i got this um stripe tank top just like a handy style with some buttons there you know this is also a nice piece i can transition it true fall because you know it's a basics i can just wear a blazer or a cardigan over it and it will be fine um this was five dollars yo of clearance section and the dress was how much was the dress eight dollars <laughs> yep so yeah i wasn't i didn't really go to h&m and forever 21 to shop for myself i was doing back to school for my kids but when i saw those i grabbed them go out with me I'll pay you. One dinner. And leave my job out of this. Yeah. And I don't want your money. I've been obsessed with these short reels. Um, I don't know, have you ever seen them when you're scrolling down on Instagram and you see this like short film ones? Yeah. I clicked on one of them and I up I uploaded the I downloaded the app and I've been obsessed, yo. Like, I've been paying. You gotta pay to watch them. And I've been paying for like the past two weeks. 
I've been obsessed <laughs> with this. Like this is crazy. I'm trying to break the addiction, the addiction, but it's hard, yo. They just keep me so entertained. But they're just so stupid. I feel like the storylines are always the same. The women are getting saved by the billionaire, Prince Charming. It's just just stupid storylines, but they're just so captivating. Like I and I watch this all day long. <laughs> Have you seen them? Do you? Anybody else like watch these short reels? It's called short reels and the app looks, I'm going to show you what the app, the app looks like. The app looks like that. That are right there. Real short, not short reels. Real short. And also Emily in Paris, I think season four dropped yesterday, the 15th. Today the 16th by the way. And I think the like they have like four or five episodes that dropped yesterday i haven't watched them of course because i've been watching short reel i've been obsessed i've been i've been um what what word does my daughter say again i've been locked in i've been locked in i've been locked in on the short reels but yo i need to go watch a minute in paris so i think i'm gonna end this vlog here i'll start another one so Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't be a stranger, y'all. You guys need to engage. I mean, comment, comment. I know I don't really do this. Yes, I want to grow, but at the end of the day, I like um, creating content. I like filming YouTube videos. So I think with time, the growth will just come um, as it is. And I know there's always at least one person that's going to watch, that's going to find something valuable and that's going to comment. Like I'm, I'm still getting people to comment and to subscribe. But if you watch my videos, like every single one of my videos and you've never commented, comment below, just say hi. Also follow me on all my social medias, Insta, TikTok. Uh, July was a little slow. I slowed down. I had family here and I was just busy, but we about to get back to our content creation over there on instagram and on tiktok with the fashions so yeah guys don't be a stranger comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll see you in the next one